expression of another Greek container this week and the next. This activity comes in two parts. Today, we will be making a simple paper mache Greek style serving bowl or serving cup. For the paper mache paste, I will be using the leftover paste I made for the diorama a few weeks back. I took only a part of and saved the rest in a tightly sealed container and put it in the fridge. Let me tell you, the paste is still almost as if I have just made it. You may also use some mud podge or watered down white glue. One part water to three parts glue. Depending on what you decide to make, you can prepare a fairly sized bowl. To prep up, you will need to apply a good layer of Vaseline or coconut oil on the outside. This will help you remove the bowl from your paper mache later. I have prepared some strips of paper here. You may have newspaper, magazines, catalogs or even receipts that you don't use anymore. Make sure you apply a generous amount of glue on both sides of the paper. A good technique would be to apply glue on one side, paste it side down onto the base bowl, then lather it with glue again while pushing gently with the brush. This will get rid of bubbles, remove creases and bumps, and ensure that you have a smooth and tight layer every time. Overlap the pieces of paper. Apply gentle pressure with the brush so that the new piece just seem to melt or blend with the last one. You will need to have at least 3 to 5 layers of paper mache to create a sturdy bowl for painting next week. Another top tip is to use a different color of paper for every layer. This way, you'll know that you get the whole coverage for every layer. When you finish with the layers, it should look like this. Now you can stop at this point because it will already be a bowl and the paintings and details will take care of the rest. But if you want to do more, you may elevate the bowl by taking a small bowl, doing the same step and attaching it at the bottom of the first one through paper mache. You can stop right here or you can take it a bit further by attaching handles onto each side. This is up to you. You are the designer. You just need to remember that what will transform this from an ordinary container into a Greek vase are the paintings and details which we will add next week. Once done, store your project in a dry place to avoid moisture and build up of molds. Prepare your paint and paint brushes next week. For the designs, you may research about freeze paintings, about Greek heroes, activities, sports, plus the Greek patterns and designs.